All right, I am ready to get this stream started. Let's get things going. Let's get camera set up. Here we are. We are going to be doing some civilization as usual on this fine Saturday evening for me, at least evening for me, morning for some. Um, and if you saw the thumbnail, you can tell that we're going to be doing something a little bit different uh, today than our normal, just kind of running through all of the leaders A to Z. Technically, the next leader for us is Harold of Norway. And it just so happens that a week or so ago, uh, they announced this, or they kind of put out this second um, challenge of the month. The first challenge of the month was for, um, it's not actually on here, it used to be on here, uh, it was for, I believe, Greece or something like that, uh, Pericles, or something of that nature. So uh, I didn't take part in that one, uh, but I decided, you know what, let's take part in this. We'll see what happens. Why not? It would be kind of fun to just do something a little bit different. And so we're going to be playing this challenge of the month. We're definitely going to be playing on Emperor. There's only two choices. There's Prince or Emperor. Now, Emperor is a couple levels below what we usually play as. Um, so it might be a little bit easier, but I'm hoping that the fact that it's a specific challenge with specific spe specific rule set and things like that, that it'll still be somewhat of a challenge. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this, and this is what we're going to be doing today. Now, I'm not saying I won't still do a normal run with, with, uh, with Norway at some point, but... Uh, I figured this would be kind of a fun, kind of change of pace type of thing. And since the timing was perfect, so. And that's where we're at. Leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword. Mr. Sean Bean. Smudge on my glasses. To reveal its secrets. A collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. All men fear the approach of your ships, King Harold of Norway. All right, let's go ahead and just jump right into this, and we'll be all right with this. So here's the thing. This is a set map. So same. So if you were to click into Civilization VI and play this, you would get the exact same map, the exact same basically everything. Now, obviously, the decisions we make within the map will change ultimately, but the same people that we're going against, the same, you know, whatever. I mean, it's about as, as similar as you can get from the start, and then, of course, things will change as we progress through the game and make different decisions. So... I will say that I think I, I'm not sure if I put it on the, the thumbnail, but I will go ahead and say now a little bit of a spoiler alert. If you want to do this uh, challenge yourself, you might not want to watch this. Uh, but if it's one of those things that you just don't really care about, then there you go. So you can watch it and we will progress. So we obviously already know about the roundness of the world. As you can see, we've got a lot of stuff explored. In fact, it does give us enough explored that we can see hints of of land in a few places. Uh, there's a little bit of a hint of land there and a few other places. So um, we also have a few inspirations already ready to go. Uh, we've got the inspiration for drama and poetry. We've got the inspiration for political philosophy. Eureka for celestial navigation, horseback riding, and ironworking. So five different boosts already ready to go. And again, if you start this map on Emperor, you'll be having this exact same setup, same everything, same settler in the same places, all the resources, everything's the same. So in case that wasn't clear, 100% identical. So Harold... Again, we were going to do Harold anyway. I don't know if we were going to do this particular version of Harold. I hadn't decided which one we we're going to do, but this is the version of Harold for this particular playthrough. So first up, we have Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt of the North. It allows coastal rating for all naval melee units, and you get 50% production towards all naval melee units. So we're definitely going to be putting out naval melee units, doing some pillaging, doing all that kind of stuff. That would be kind of, kind of our bread and butter here. We receive science from pillaging and coastal rating mines in addition to gold. So if we do get mines, we also get the science. Uh, we also get pillaging or, uh, pillaging or coastal raiding quarries, pastures, plantations, and camps also provide culture in addition to the normal faith. And then we also gain the Viking longship unique unit with sailing. Uh, we also have NAR here, which means units gain the ability to enter ocean tiles, tiles after researching the shipbuilding technology. Naval melee units heal in neutral territory, and units ignore additional movement costs from embarking and disembarking. So we're going to be doing a lot of raiding here as a Norway, as you would might expect. Uh, we do have the Viking Longship, which is an ancient era naval unit. So we want to make as much use of that as early on as possible because it will go go out soon, right? Like it's not going to last forever being an early naval unit. Uh, it does replace the galley. It can pillage enemy coastal lands and capture civilians if adjacent using its coastal rating ability. So we can capture naval or ca capture civilian units, which is pretty awesome. And then finally, we've got, or say finally, the next we have Berserker, which is our unique. We actually have two unique units, awesome, which is awesome, right? We have a unique medieval era melee unit that replaces the matted arms. Um, has four movement if the unit starts in enemy territory, plus 10 combat strength when attacking, and minus five combat strength when defending. So obviously we want to be doing mostly attacking with our Berserkers, 
uh, not be not be defending that much. And the good thing about this one is that we're going to do a lot of raiding early on, and then once we're really ready to kind of declare war, if that is the path we decide to go on, uh, then we can use our berserkers in the medieval era and go about that. And then finally, we do have the Stave Church, which is a building unique to Norway. It's uh, required to purchase apostles and inquisitors, which makes sense. It's just, uh, I think it's a temple replacement, maybe, or is it just completely unique? I can't remember. Uh, holy site districts get an additional standard adjacency bonus from woods. So if we put a holy site next to uh, to woods, we get some more bonus there. And we get plus one production to each coastal resource tile in this city, which is a big deal. We want to be building these basically in all of our cities that have resources on the coast. Uh, and recalling heroes in the city costs 50% less faith. Oh, yeah. We are playing with the heroes um, pack or the heroes kind of thing thrown in here because that is one of the uh, game options. Where's the game options? There we go. Um, it doesn't say it here. It's not one of the mods, obviously. It's got to be one of the sets because I don't see it here. So it is going to be it's standard game speed, by the way. And we do have the heroes in whatever they're called. Um, game mode turned on because that was one of the game modes that they have turned on for this. All right. So we want to get started here. And we obviously have a first settler. We also have a spearman and a scout. I think the very first thing we're going to do is move our scout wherever we feel like we can to get as much vision here to determine where the best place to put our settler is going to be. Okay, so we've already got a natural wonder here, which is pretty awesome. Um, plus one faith and plus one production to adjacent tiles is pretty cool. Oh, and we've also discovered a hero already. The awesome sight of Mato Tipla has inspired local myths and legends. We have discovered the hero Arthur. You can claim this hero by completing a hero devotion project in any city with a monument building, so we definitely want to get a monument up. And Arthur, target an adjacent land military unit you control. Arthur transforms the unit into a questing knight, a unique heavy cavalry unit that, with increased combat strength and 12 lifespan. Uh, costs one charge. I don't know if I'm, I've never used the hero thing. This is all completely new to me, so I've never done the hero stuff. Um, but there we go. He looks looks decent. Although, if we're on our own little landmass here, which I suspect that we will be. Uh, he might not be the most beneficial for us early on. Let's go ahead and move you down here. So we got a little bit of vision here. Not a lot. I'm actually tempted to move this builder out into the water right here. It's a risky move, but it would give us a tiny bit more vision, I think, right there. Let's do it. Okay, so that helps a little bit. Hmm. Let's start here. I mean, yeah, we've got some resources. Not the greatest. I'm actually very tempted because I'm assuming kind of based on where we're at on the map, it's unlikely that... Oh, we do see a city-state over here. But it's unlikely we're going to have another civilization down here on this kind of edge. I'm assuming that we're going to have a little bit of time to, to, to wait until we have to worry about other civilizations. I'm tempted to move the settler up here. Because then we can put a harbor here right away. Get the two coastal uh, things. Work the stone already. We got some desert over here, so who knows? I mean, I'm not sure if Petra's in our cards, but you never know. I could also move it back to here. Be right next to the wheat already. Settle on a tile that's not that great anyway. Be in the middle. Be, be next to this. Get some faith already. That's also a reasonably good spot, I believe. Now, it is away from the coast. Now, we could eventually build a harbor, but we wouldn't be able to do it right away. I think we're going to want to get the harbor out sooner. So I think our first city, I think a second city down here would be fine. I think a first city up this way is going to be our best move. I mean, there's also the option of just moving it here. But there's really just not much to work here. I think the sacrifice of moving it up here means we can work some three food tiles right away. We can expand out to get some of these other really good tiles pretty quickly. Already on the coast, next to a river, all the good things. I'm going to take the sacrifice and we're going to move it up that way. I'm also going to take a gamble that since we don't see any barbarians yet, that we can move this guy towards this goody hut over here. And we're going to do that. All right, that's a very aggressive first move here, but it is Emperor, so I'm kind of playing that a little bit to our advantage. Not your normal deity that we usually deal with. In fact, it's two levels below deity. So we're going to move there. We do have iron already. Okay, that's awesome. I'm going to do one more gamble here just to kind of confirm that I like everything. And move you up there, move you there. Get a good vision of everything we have. I think I'm still okay with the city here. I think we've got a lot, some spots... It's got just better resources in general, so it's kind of where I'm looking. Uh, I'm gonna cat. I'm gonna do this after we settle the city, cause well, do I want a free builder? I mean, free builders are always nice, or free pop. Free pop's even better. 
I'm going to hold off. I'm going to wait till we have found the city, and then we're going to pop that. And now, again, we're two, two turns but late. If we do get a free settler, or free uh, free population, then moving here was almost a non, non-issue, non right? Like, basically, net evens the exact same thing. So we're going to go ahead and found here. And we'll remove the marsh, which is not the most ideal. Oh, we do actually do get a little bit of extra border growth. So we're going to be able to work this fish right away. Okay, I'm very happy that we did that. It's possible we would have worked the fish here or here uh, had we settled down here anyway, but... I think this is fine. It does mean we're going to grow up to the west before we grow up to the fish. Because normally it would have been the fish first, I think. Maybe. It's not possible it would have grown there first. But I think this is going to be good for us. We're going to move you back that way. We are going to bring you... Uh, do we have the ability to do sea resources yet? Is that one of the things we got? Yeah, we can, we can do fishing boats already. So we're going to move this guy straight over to this fish first. Because I'm assuming that's what we're working first. And we'll get that going. Come on. Oh, we start with four pop. Okay, well then the extra pop is not as powerful. When you only have one pop and you get an extra pop, well, that's, that's you know, 200% 200, 200 of what you had started with. Getting one pop now is only a 25% increase. Now we got some faith. Faith is actually not bad. I mean, not super necessary because we would have gotten enough faith from the, the Wanderer as we grew up to that way at some point. Still not bad. I think we're going to get an early harbor. I really think we've got to get our, uh, our Viking ships out as soon as humanly possible because we want to find people to pillage. That's going to give us a lot of stuff. Political philosophy, being able to go right into that right away is pretty awesome. Man, we got a lot of stuff already. Wow. This is so new. I'm not I'm not used to this, like all this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? This is this is very unusual to me. All right, so what's the deal with our holy site again? Um, I'm just going to remind myself again here. Um, holy site gets an additional standard JC bonus from woods, plus one production to each coastal resource tile in this city. So if we get the holy site down, we will get more production from those two resources that we're going to plan on improving. And what was the thing that we had? Was it the the monument is what got us the, uh, the the hero, right? Where do we see the hero? Oh, we see it here. Oh, it's in the same tab as the great people. Okay. Yeah, if we get the monument, we can recruit this, right? That's how that works. Right? <laughs> I think that's what that said. Um, so that's always the possibility of that. Honestly, I feel like the holy site, really, really early holy site, is probably an extremely good move here. Just because we are going to get some extra production from things. I mean... Hmm. I mean, I do want to put it here. Because that's a really good holy site spot. Do we have campuses already as well? Where's a good campus spot? It's actually a really good campus spot, too. So the Holy Site would actually be better here. We do lose some production here, but we're going to gain the production elsewhere. I mean, I like this tile for other reasons, but... I think I think just getting some early faith is going to be good for us. Oh, there's a plus four. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, they're going to go with this. It's fine. Put the campus there, most likely. I mean, I do like the marsh tile. It's a lot of food, but I think we'll be able to get plenty of food from other things. Um, I mean, normally I go faith in the city, but do we how much faith do we need? We already have enough faith for a pantheon, so that that is not not necessary anymore. Maybe we just go for the early production. I guess I could have reduced the cost of purchasing a tile. Saved us a little bit of gold. I mean, we're gonna need to pump out settlers real fast. You know what? Let's get settlers out. We're going to need to pump out a couple more settlers pretty quickly here. And then, again, I'm not used to having all these choices, so this is unusual for me. Um, We're going to we're gonna expect to see some barbarians. We'll just plug that in for a little bit. Uh, if, we, if we don't see barbarians right away, then we might switch to some other things at some point. We also have two governor titles. Really? Is there anything we want to really want to chop? I mean, I don't really want to chop that much more than we've already kind of gotten rid of at this point in time. So I don't know that that's really what I'm looking for. Honestly, just an early Pangala is almost always just fine to have. Yeah, I'm just going to go with early Pangala here. I mean, we're already at four pop, so the fact that we're at four pop means I can go ahead and give him uh, the promotion for more culture. Just get a little bit extra culture. That way we've already got you know a decent amount of science coming in. Just give us some more culture right away. And uh, that's going to be good to have. Cool. I'm happy with that.
by the way, I, I guess I haven't said anything. Uh, if you are watching, you know, at the time that this is recorded or, or watching it live, I should say, or watching shortly after, I just want to say happy, Merry Christmas, holidays, whatever you want to say, and, uh, and happy new year to, to anybody. So hopefully everybody has a great 2024 coming up. So kind of crazy that we're already getting close to 2024, but apparently that's how time works. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just because it feels crazy. Um, do I want to circle back around this way? Well, the scout's going to have to circle back around here in a moment anyway, so they're going to keep pushing you to the east. See what's over this way. Early goody huts would be good to find. All right, so we're going to get a Pantheon right away. I mean, Holy Sites, you know, with adjacent Tundra, this this Holy Site will get some extra faith just because it will be adjacent to one Tundra tile, but there's not a lot of Tundra up here. Now, we will have more cities that we'll have to put down here somewhere. So there is definitely a possibility for that. Um... Now, this one's not going to have adjacent desert, whatever one we have up here would, but I would say if we're going to choose between these two, the Tundra is definitely the better move. Uh, we don't have any rainforest, river goddess. I mean, we do have a holy site adjacent to a river already. Now, it's just our first city, but two minis and two housing right away is kind of nice. So we're already at eight housing, though. So maybe not as critical. I mean, we do have a couple marshes. We got several marsh here. So getting a little bit of um, production from marsh tiles. In fact, all of these marsh tiles would have two production. That's probably the right move. There's a lot of marsh through here. And our second seed is going to be over here somewhere, most likely. I feel like that's a lot of production. Plus, we got plus one production from fishing boats, which does double up on our other bonus that we already get from fishing boats as well, to be fair. That would give us two production from the two fishing boats, but we can get more than that from the Lady of the Reason marshes. We're also very early. So honestly, just getting a free settler. I mean, I love a lot of these, but just a free settler right now, get her second city up and running right now. It's just got, it's got to be the best move. Almost always. This one's almost never here. The AI always, always gets this first. We got lucky. We got to take advantage of our luck and we got to take our free settler, I think. I like the other ones, and I like think the long term, the production's well. I say long term, the production would make make a huge difference. But getting a settler right now is uh, you just can't overlook that. That how much that's going to help us snowball a little bit here at the beginning, or start our snowball a little bit earlier. Do I just move the settler over here and have like a desert city? I'd like to get a little bit more vision before I chose that spot. I mean, I really do kind of like this move back here because it's going to be able to work this wheat right away, but I can't see anything back there either. Working, moving down this way is a little bit safer because we know that the Spearman's here to protect us. If we move to this location, for example, what it's suggesting, it would not be a bad move. And we could put a holy site here next to the river, next to the other holy site, give us some adjacency, all that kind of stuff. Well, I guess the holy site next to the river, that was just for that one belief. So it doesn't really matter in that regard. We we'll probably eventually chop the deer so we can put an aqueduct or something here. I, I'm going to move up this way. I think a city up here is going to be good for us. I mean, there's a lot more desert there than I expected. There's a lot of desert. Okay, well, this city will be a good place to put a Petra. Now, if I'm going to put a Petra, I don't want to use up desert tiles if I can help it. So I almost would rather settle back here instead of on the desert. Would allow us to work the uh, three food right away, which is probably the smart move. All right, we got the scout kind of covering for us. So I think that's going to be the move that we go for. All right, we're going to get four housing from or four food from that. That's going to be great. Uh, let's go and keep moving you this way. There's another goodie hut. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and hook this up right away. As soon as our holy site comes in, we're going to be happy that those are hooked up, I think. Uh, boost for currency, probably not the... Oh, we got two boosts. Never mind. All right, we're, we're happy. I was going to say, boost for currency by itself, probably not the most amazing thing in the world, but getting double boost, I'm okay with that. So I think settling here is going to be fine. It's going to be a little bit risky, 
we will have to put an aqueduct somewhere probably at some point but i think this is going to be an okay city I, man i can't believe it expands out now this one does not get four pop okay well that's interesting to know and it's good to know that future cities do not get the four pop uh but it does get the border growth which is a bit unexpected i mean that's so why i really how I do want to work that tile, but I think we've got to lock in this tile first. Let it grow as quickly as possible, and then we can work that tile later. I mean, the housing's garbage here, of course. We do need to get the housing resolved pretty much as soon as possible. I mean, we can go right into a granary. It won't, won't grow right now, but as soon as it does, is able to work this other tile, it will be able to grow from that. I think we've got to get the granary out first. All right, I'm going to circle this guy around the mountain here and then bring it back home. Uh, I mean, the vision here is not going to be that valuable, but I'm just going to come up here because I just want to see it anyway. All right, I, I'm assuming that's just desert hill. So we're going to come out here. And we'll circle around this direction. All right, not a lot over here. Again, I kind of expected that we were alone here. There's just not enough room for another civilization. So I'm happy that we were very aggressive early on. I'm trying to think if there's a reason to move up, move over here and set up something here instead, but I don't think so. I think we just hook up the quarry, let our main city be all right. And I think it'll be good for us. I can also just chop, get rid of this. Get some production for our holy site. I mean, this is just a grasslands tile. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst idea. The sooner we get the holy side out, the sooner we get production back to make up for the production we would lose long term. You know, what? I think this is an okay move. Oh, you know, what? I just realized we're already on turn 83. We legitimately got started this game partway through. Like, we didn't even start on turn one. And we don't know how many turns there are. That's strange. What are the what, like? What's the rules? I don't understand the rules. I guess we're just supposed to win a victory of any type. Is my is my understanding of what the rules are? Win some kind of victory. All right, there's Rapa Nui. I know there's going to be barbarians down here somewhere. Just it's just inevitable. So it's very dangerous to be this far away from our home. I'm going to play greedy. I'm going to come around this mountain now. I know I said that already. Uh, we do have an extra envoy we could send. We've only got one, though, so I don't think there's any value to sending it to Rapa Nui right this second. We're happy to get a little bit of culture from you, but that's all we're going to do for now. We've got we've to gotta circle back home. I know we do. I'm going to circle down this way and bring the scout back home at the very least. Okay, well, this is the edge of the, the land anyway, so I'm actually okay that we moved over here. Hmm... Oh, you're in a blizzard. That's annoying. All right. Hopefully you don't take too much damage and then we can get you out of there. All right. Two turns on our holy site. That's going to make a big difference on our production. All right. There is a good yet. Oh, another recon unit. Well, that's going to help us protect things a little bit. If, if we get some attacked, we can move the scout around and cover us a little bit. So I'm going to come down here and just get a little bit of vision. We know, we're not getting attacked yet anyway. All right, there's our holy site. Three error score. Oh, hello. Um, actually, I'm going to wait until we take some damage. Wait, did I misunderstand how the holy site works? Plus one production to each coastal resource tile in this city. What? <laughs> Is that not a coastal resource tile? Or is it saying tiles that are on the coast? I misunderstood what that actually meant and I got rid of my stone. I mean, the way I read that, right? Plus one pressure to each coastal resource tile in this city. Does to me sound like this is literally a coast, coastal resource tile. Yeah, I must have misunderstood something then. Well, that's unfortunate because I got rid of the one and only coastal resource tile that we had. Well then, 
I feel a little silly now. I guess that's just lack of quite understanding how how that guy works. Trader would be good. Getting a long ship out just to kind of find some people and start doing some early, early pillaging, get us a huge boost would probably be the right thing to do. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's get one out and then we can maybe settle in for a settler or something after that. I'm a little annoyed that I misunderstood how that worked. Yeah, I'm, I'm, unless it's here already. Is it here already? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Is it that? It's gotta be that. Okay. It's, it's, I think we're getting it. It's just in the city, not on the tiles themselves. Okay. I was confused. I think, yeah, cause we're working one, two, three four plus the city center five so that's those five no we still got only got seven total no from the buildings is from the palace never mind so that's not from this well that's annoying oh well i mean i can't undo it now just let's live and learn Uh, oh, there's a barbarian encampment right there, but we're a spearman. Spearmen are not good for going against barbarian encampments because they're going to be facing up against other spearmen. Warriors are great. Let me get you out into the water, bring you back to back home. We'll let our scouts do the rest of the, well, scouting. Um, oligarchy probably makes a lot of sense since we're going to be starting doing some, some stuff here soon. I also like the idea of autocracy because we could put beeline towards Petra. I think Petra's a little bit of ways away, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go for Oligarch for first. I think it's gonna come into play here very soon. I mean, we can go ahead and have it speed up our ship as well. Production. I still have this in here. I I totally forgot that I put that one in. To be honest. But I still want to get some settlers out as soon as we get our long ship out, really. I think I'm going to leave that in for a little bit longer. I can get Charismatic Leader. So... Oh, not Charismatic, sorry, Diplomatic Lee. was what I was thinking of. Does that count? I actually don't remember. We've already got an envoy with them because we discovered them first. But did I actually send it to them? Does that count as sending? I'm assuming it does. I think we'll just go charismatic leader for now, and it's going to be fine. Oh, that's just wild card. Never mind. I don't want to do that. I want to do one of these. Actually, I don't know if I care about any of these, to be perfectly honest. I might just go with early production to help our other city out a little bit here. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, we'll dip down to draw my poetry just because it's already boosted. Not sure where that scout came from. It's got to be down here, right? Somebody's already built hanging gardens. Alright, there's our long ship. Hello, barbarians. Uh, I mean, we just need to find people and be aggro at this point. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have you do a settler right away, because we kind of already have that boost available. And I'd, I'd like to get the rest of this continent landmass figured out. I mean, again, be lying towards Petra would be good. So getting currency, probably the right move. I 
I'm going to bring you back to protect our borders here. Because we're just going to get pillaged and stuff. And that's going to be very, very annoying. Pyramid is already done as well. All right, we can take off our locking here because it will work the, uh, the food tile now. I'm actually going to fortify you here for a little bit. Um, really nowhere for you to go right now. Let's just come back up here. We're going to get you healed up and we'll send you over the land. He's just going to pillage that. That's so annoying. Go ahead. Yeah, pillage it. Be a, be a jerk. Be a jerk. I don't think we want to change anything right this second. We're not doing any ships right now, to be fair. So we could always plug in the gold. We're probably going to do more ships soon, though. Also need to get a builder out. You really just can't pillage that and run away. What a jerk. All right, you're going to fortify here. Let him attack us. That's going to be fine. Are you on a hill? Uh, no, we'll actually move back one. Get on the hill. Yeah, I don't don't understand the production situation. <laughs> I just I don't understand the rewarding of this holy site thing at all. I'll have to Google it later. I mean, I guess I can Google it now. Because I'm kind of curious. Norway. Good old Harold here. Alright. Um, specifically in the Norway thing. And the Stave Church. Oh, it's a building. I'm dumb. Oh my goodness, I'm dumb. I'm sitting here freaking out, and I forgot that it's a building. Okay, okay, it's not the holy site. I, I, <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? I feel like I'm reading this correctly. Now, the funny thing is, I assumed that it replaced, like, the temple. But it doesn't actually say here that it replaces the temple. Unless I'm blind, it does not say that it replaces the temple. But it does. So we just need to get that out as soon as we can. Uh, okay, that makes me feel so much better. I, I, I think we're still good. I was starting to get worried that I got rid of some of these t tiles, and I'm like, wait a minute, how did I misread that? I just misread the part. Well, not misread, but I just forgot the part that it's a building, not a not a holy site. All right, dude, go away. I, mean, I guess the smart move would actually have been to move here instead, or like here to block him, because he can't re-pillage that one, obviously. And now he's just going to run over there and pillage that. That's uh, Unless we have zone of control. I actually don't remember if we have zone of control or not. All right, Scout's just going to hold out against this warrior. Uh, Settler is going to... Um, do I want to settle here? I kind of like it. Be able to work the wheat right away, get some good production. That's a really good tile. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. I'm going to move the Scout here to kind of cover you, and you're going to be down there. Uh, I would like you to just go chase him down and finish him off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get us a Builder out now. Keep fortifying there, my friend. Uh, you can go ahead and take your promotion. Um, we already have heal outside friendly territory, right? We can already heal in neutral territory. So that's not as important. I mean, I think we just take the being able to beat up on other people. All right, let's go back to what we were doing before, which is moving up this way. Too bad long ships can't, like, take out barbarian encampments, unless they can, and I just don't understand that part, which is possible. Oh, wow. That's strong. That is very strong to be able to get an early cavalry unit right away. I mean, not super strong in the context of what we're doing right this second, but we can definitely make use of that. Uh, you're going to go right past the barbarian encampment, but I'm not super worried about that. Maybe I should be.
Hello, Indonesia. Uh, for scout. If we find a builder, we could definitely declare war and do some shenanigans here. Um, we already got decent housing. I don't feel like that's as desperate. My goodness, you got some really good faith tiles over here. No, we're just going to go in for a builder here, I think, as well. Oh, I should have swapped off games and wreck. That's all right. We'll finish it up. No biggie. Oh, archers, go away. Assuming your cities are on the other side, so I'm going to have to go, I guess, around. Oh, no, they're, they're over here. We'll definitely come up to here, and we'll probably declare war and start doing some pillaging. Oh, that's not archer. I'm sorry. That's a That was their archer. That's a spearman. I'm not as afraid of spearmen. I mean, we'll start working on mathematics. I'd hope to get a couple more districts, like a harbor and other things. I mean, we'll take your delegation, I suppose. We send a delegation to you. But I'm still probably going to declare war here in just a moment. We got to get some early pillaging done. Use that advantage as much as we can. Getting a harbor out right away would be really strong. I, there's so many things I want to build. I want to build settlers. I want to build harbors. I want to build everything. I, I still got the settler bonus in place. Mm -hmm. And I still want to build settlers, but like, there's so many other things I want to build as well. She might not have anything to pillage, to be honest. It's still relatively early in the game. All right, let's go hook up. Probably the copper of the stone over here for you. Another city-state, Nazca. Okay. Like if you can get to that here in a second, we will definitely take that. Oh, go away. I hate barbarians so much. Literally the thing I hate most in this game. Go away. I want that tile that you can't actually get benefit from. Very rude. All right. I don't know if we're going to have to worry about anything here, so we're going to move you out of here. Or you're just going to come out anyway. All right, there's a cherry. I mean, chariots aren't amazing, amazing. I could have waited a little bit, but it's fine. All right, we're going to move you over that way. Get that goodie hut. All right, just going to heal up a tick before we do anything here. Oh, I hate barbarians. Did I mention that? I can't remember if I've ever mentioned that I hate barbarians. All right, let's get us another Viking longship to deal with the Barbarian now. Granary's done. I do want another special district to boost us towards Petra. I mean, Campus Holy Site stuff here would be... Really nice. 
I'm actually going to move you there instead. We're going to produce the monument here. Just because I need to build something that we're about to... Because we're about to do a chop here. I think, on the marsh. History. Galapagos. All right, you do have things we can pillage. So, pretty sure. I mean, you're very strong as far as just being a city that's got like lots of strength. But we've got to use our bonus as much as we can. And I might wait one more turn until we can um, use all our movement. I think we're going to stone too, to be honest. I do think I'm going to go ahead and plop down one of the two here. I mean, if we want it to be different, so it's the third one for the boost for mathematics, then it does need to be campus first, then holy site, which is fine. All right. Clear war, because reasons. We're just here to pillage, my my dear. Oh, we can't pillage, but we can take your thing. Which I guess we will. I mean, we're going to take some damage. I'm hoping we don't take too much damage. It's pretty even. 35 versus 35. Alright, we're at war with Candy, but I don't think I care that much. We're going to hold on to our Envoy for right now. I don't even know where... Oh, there's Candy. I was like, I don't even know where Candy is. Yeah, we're taking, like, no damage, which is good. Oh, goodness. Where did you go, stupid barbarian? All right, yeah, one build left. I think we will just go ahead and hook this up. We can pillage both these things here next turn, so we will do that. I don't think there's any point in attacking the city, so we're going to hold off. You're going to just... Try to run away, hopefully. If it's natural to kill, how come men have to go into training? All right, this gets us a bunch of gold. We'll take that. Two envoys gets us enough to get suzerain with somebody at least. I mean, neither of them's right. Super critical. I think we'll go Nazca. Hero discovered. Another hero. Nice. Use this one. Look. Uh, use when located on a bonus or luxury resource. It consumes the resource generates ninety science and eighty culture. Any improvement present is destroyed. Cost one charge. And is, wow, that's fascinating as well. So we definitely want to get us a monument out soon. <laughs> Work towards that. I'm going to come over here to this barbarian camp and see if there's anything we can do. I don't I don't know if the longships can. I don't think they can, but it's worth trying. Uh, I might just chill you here for now, Mr. Scout. Looks like here's three. That's still pretty good. Campus. Mm, we could clear this, but a campus there or there would be fine as well. Honestly, you're going to need a granary here soon-ish anyway. Also still would like to get a couple more settlers out. All the things. Take the coastal raid first, because I think this will mess them up a little bit more. Losing that production. Also gets a science. Okay. 
All right, let's go repair this stuff because it's annoying me. All right, you can keep doing the pillaging here. So we, we can pillage, right? Yeah, so... Wait, can we coastal raid something? What could we coastal raid? The city? Surely not. I'm going to move you here so we can get a pillage on the food here in a moment. Or is that gold? I think crabs are gold, actually. All right, we're already uh, boosted, uh, ready to boost mathematics. We'll swap off of that. Actually, I'm going to grab iron working, I think. Because as soon as we get these other districts, that'll take care of that. My goodness, we got a lot of heroes. We'll look at him later if we have an opportunity to actually take him. Oh, hello. You actually have a, <laughs> a villager thing right there. All right, this is health. Okay, I couldn't remember if crabs were health or not. We'll take the health, and then we'll go back in for the coastal raid here in a moment. See what that does. Um, let's go ahead and just rest and repair. I love that we can rest and repair out in the middle of nowhere. That is awesome. Okay, no, there is no coastal raid. I, I didn't think so, but I was kind of curious. I think we just come over here and raid this just to slow him down. Or her, I guess. Obviously, the quadrum is going to be a little bit problematic, but should be okay for one more tick here. We'll get the heal and we'll get out of dodge. Um, We'll hold on to our envoy for now. Finally about to get our harbor. Uh, just a double favor. Um, I mean, we can absolutely tear this thing up. Take the pillage, then we'll take the attack. I'm going to move the scout over to the land, the land over here, I think. All right, so that's the harbor done. I think we're going to get us another long ship. I know I keep saying settlers, but we need to get, we need to be controlling the seas. Yeah, so we can't coaster raid that. I didn't think we could, but it was worth coming over here to see. At least we got rid of a couple ships that would have been problematic later. All right, let's just get away from the city at this point and heal back up. I don't think there's anything else for us to pillage right now. We'll just get out here and we'll heal back up and we'll go find another target. In fact, if she doesn't have any other cities, which I would be surprised if she didn't have another city somewhere over here. If she doesn't, though, we will probably... Um, piece her out as soon as we can. We got what we need. We got a little bit of science, got a bunch of gold. I mean, we got enough gold that I can definitely buy some stuff right now. I think there's a good place for an industrial zone over here somewhere. Like maybe an aqueduct, a bunch of industrial, bunch of mines, industrial zone, something like that. I mean, we are at war with, not Candy, sorry. Which one are we at war with, Candy? No, we are at war with Candy. So we can come pillage this right now. That'd be good. That is on the coast. We can put one of the Nazca lines down. Would be interesting. 
What does it give us again? One faith to adjacent tiles. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really fascinating. Let's put one down. Let's see what it does. All right, got another ship. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and knock out the seller I've been waiting on. Really need to get at least one more city, maybe two, somewhere. Oh, that's weird. I don't know if I've ever built this before. That just gives a whole bunch of faith, though. I'll take it. I mean, it's different. We'll take it. Where were we with now? Probably a city state, if I'd imagine. Okay, there's Petra right there, which we definitely want to get out of Oslo as soon as possible. Oh, it's going to be so slow. But if we get it, it's going to be amazing. Do I want to build it there? I actually would almost rather build it further away because if I change my mind and put the aqueduct here, that could open up some other things as well. No, we're probably never put an aqueduct here. I don't think it really matters. I think we'll just take this. I do want to focus you on production, though. And we might swap governments. Are we going to build a second campus anytime soon? Uh, let's grab defensive tactics, just because we've already been declared war on, apparently. From I didn't know it counted from a city state. That's I did not realize that. La Venta. All right, well let's go hook up the iron. Well, actually, no, sorry, you can hook up the iron. So that means you can hook up. I would just hmm, I guess the mine here because we're gonna want to mine here at some point. Because I think I might put the industrial zone there. Or we'll put the aqueduct here, I think I said. Yeah, that's actually true. Let's just bring you down this way. We'll figure that out later. Um, you're going to go ahead and land. Really? Thank you. Everything has its limits. Actually, I'm just going to group you up together because I don't trust that I can get you home by yourself right now. I mean, I do want to pillage that, but probably better get rid of land units that are coming across to mess with us. All right, I think I'm going to circle this ship back around. Um, I need to get a trade route. Actually, you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to buy a trade route. Get some production coming to the city. I mean, I kind of waited until we took some damage, but I think we'll be able to fortify here and survive no matter what happens. We're going to corner you, good, good scout. Oh, you came back out into the water. I really want to pillage it. I guess we can coastal raid and we can still go after it. 
afterwards. I mean, getting rid of the ship feels like a good move. All right, Granary's done here. Um, honestly, I might have you do a settler as well. Get a couple more settlers. I think five cities might not be a bad bad way to go. We might we might be fine with that. Um, I still haven't found out if you have any other cities, which you do. So I'm gonna say no because I'm sure you have other things I can go pillage. Oh, you just put one down. Never mind. Then in that case, I might actually piece you out. Because it's not going to have anything to pillage anyway. Although I don't want to piece up candy yet. Because it definitely has more things to pillage. But I guess we can declare war on candy individually. If we so choose. Oh, you got this back, didn't you? You did. Okay, we're starting to lose a little bit of health. It's a little bit dangerous to be here. But if we pillage this, we can then run away. Lots of gold. Oh, you got a city over here too. Never mind. There is more to pillage. I mean, it'll eventually have two campuses, but not right away. It's still taking us forever to finish this thing. There's just not a lot of production here. It really isn't. Or food. I mean, we could buy out to this tile, which would give us a little bit more. Actually, this would be a better tile, wouldn't it? So we'll go up, we'll buy out to this tile. Get a little bit more coming in. There we go. I don't know why that was locked in. I mean, we could do some some uh, harvesting, but I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of harvesting, so I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Honestly, research would be fine as well. Just push this guy all the way up and then be okay with that for now. Oh, I thought about swapping governments, didn't I? Go ahead and get the extra production towards wonders. We're actively at war right now. What's the bigger punishment? Losing Petra or losing kind of units to this war? There's a good chance we'll lose Petra either way, I guess is my thing. So I think we're going to hold off. We'll play this out. No, we got more things to pillage, my dear. We're coming. No hour of life is wasted. That is under the white. Let's head over. Another. There's apparently all the heroes who find them early. I've never done this game mode before, so I am not fully aware of all how it works. Through some terrible things in my life. Oh, I guess we could plug in the production here. That that's worth it. How much longer do we have on our settlers? Two and five. If we slow those down a little bit, it's not gonna be that, that damaging.
Everything for pillaging yet? Yes. Which that's worth it. Plug that in. I think everything else looks alright. Alright, I think we're pretty covered over here on him. So it is time to get somebody else in here. Time to go um, Amani for another suzerain. Rapa Nui or something. I like Venice. Let's get, let's get her in Venice. Really just trying to be a nuisance at this point. Not much for us to pillage here. So that means we're in a golden age. Already in the medieval age. I guess we start in the... Was it classical or whatever it is before medieval? We do have a decent amount of faith, so I actually think Monumentality is perfect for us. Enough faith to get at least a thing or two. I'm going to go Harbor, because we're going to be building some Harbor stuff at some point. I mean, obviously we'll say us, we're the only two people we know about. There's a lot of people on this map. I was not expecting there to be 10 people. Where are they? <laughs> they're, they're hiding. Um... Let's group you up with the Spearmen. I do think somebody can put a city here, so I think this guy will put a city over this way. And honestly, this is not a bad place to put it. It does mean we have room for another city past that if we really wanted to. We could also forward settle onto the other landmass. I'm going to put you here. I don't think he'll attack us, but if he does, then I'm fine with that. Nice. Spillaging is nice. Alright, Settler's done. I mean, Lighthouse would make a lot of sense. Shrine to get up to our, per our, our personal little churches would also be good. I think I'm going to go Shrine because we are in a position where faith is good for us right this second. Actually, I would like a water mill. I think we're going to buy the water mill, though. Get that boost. And then actually we're going to swap to that, because I would like to start putting lumber mills down. I mean, we can build the farm. It's not that valuable, but... I mean, we might as well. It's going to slow her down a bit. Like I said, we're really just here to be a nuisance. Is that not pillaged anymore? It is not. Then we will go after that here in a moment. Again, we're not trying to take her cities. We're just trying to take stuff. Like, be anno annoying. Hello, Portugal. You might be our next target, my friend. Alright, I would like to go over here and deal with this. 
in a moment. Let's get you healed up a couple ticks. Maybe I should buy some monuments with our gold. Probably a good idea. So we have the option to do stuff with the hero things, right? Now? I'm not entirely sure how it works. Oh, that's right. We have to finish the, the city thing. That's right. There's so many of them. We'd have to... I don't even know which one we go for. Or we can even discover a new hero. That's pretty cool. I still think it's good to get the uh, shrine up first. I mean, it's not the most amazing tile, but I think we can make this work. I think an early granary is actually going to be a good move here. All right, so this scout's obviously not getting attacked or anything. We didn't think it was going to be, but it was worth trying. Might have you come down here and do the pillaging. You got more health at the moment. Do we go ahead and declare war on Portugal? Gotta find some good pillaging spots first, but maybe. Ooh, there's a campus over there. Free science. I mean, we'll send a delegation to you as well. Why not? Oh, we can't right now. There we go. There we go. Got a theater square I could go after. And a campus over there. We're almost done with the things we're going to pillage on hers. Again, I'd still like to pillage the campus over here, but that's about it. And, of course, the, uh, the uh, mine here. people believe we don't even have any archers yet wow hey there's our berserkers okay right, that's fine I was being a little bit cavalier with the scout anyway all right if we do the pillage here we can also take the promotion You're going to start moving over here to get this other campus. And then we might piece her out after that. I mean, there's going to be a lot of... A lot of... I mean, there's 10 civilizations. That's crazy. Only one envoy. Could get a little bit of culture, I guess. Why not? Sorry, my dear. There's still a few things I want to pillage. I think that's everything, though. At least in this city. And then we're going to come over here and build stuff over here.
I mean, Colossus is a pretty good wonder. I don't know if we have the time for it, though. Good campus. I think we're going to get us another builder. Uh, we're not going to get to a city of tin pop quite yet, although once we consume this, it'll help a little bit. So we might hold off on that. Actually, take the city if we really wanted to. Is that the walls there? Hey, we can actually get us a religion. A little bit unexpected. Uh, where's the fishies? Where, where, the, where are the water folk? Could just be the water. Or is there anything that's like berserker? Not really. I might just go with the water though. Um, I don't know. What are we gonna call it? We're just gonna call it berserker. We're the water berserkers. I don't know. I'm 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 terrible at coming up with good names for things. Um, I mean, religious community looks pretty solid. Can purchase campus district builders with faith is pretty good. Oh, I was going to build. I was going to buy some builders with faith. I forgot about that. Uh, work ethic, I think it's going to be better for us. I mean, I like the Watt. Pretty good. I'm going to go for the Watt. I like science. Um, yeah, I was going to buy the builder. I mean, I could still, I think we're still going to get another builder. Actually, we might just get another settler. I forgot about that as well. No, why not? Let's get us another settler. But I think we will also get us a builder here in a moment. Uh, where do we need a builder the most? Probably here. Go hook up the lumber mill. You're going to come over here. We're probably going to just settle the city there and be fine with that. I don't know if we really want to bother trying to take the city or not. I don't think we care that much. Uh, I think we go ahead and piece her out at this point. Don't think there's much to be gained from her elsewhere. A little bit of gold per turn. I'm happy with that. We got a lot of stuff from her, including a builder, which we need to figure out how to get back home. Hello, goody hut. There's actually a couple goody huts over here. Where's our no nearest scout? Did we lose all? Oh, no, it's right there. Let's just bring you back home. We'll bring you back over this way. I want to unescort you. I think the builder can make it back on its own. I'm just going to heal you up a tick, get you full health, and then we're going to go after Portugal here in a moment. Hmm. I mean, holy sites probably make a lot of sense. Yeah, let's do the holy site. I 
imagine the whole world is one big machine. Well, there goes our scout. I was not expecting to be ganged up on like that. They always come with the exact amount they need. All right. Well, let's get us a ship over here because we got to deal with that mess. I want a quadroom instead. Do I still have the thing that gets us? Yeah, we do. Let's just get us a quadroom. Actually, I'm probably going to get both. In fact, I am going to get both. These barbarians are going to be a nuisance. We're just gonna chill you until we get our builder or our, our, our uh, settler over here. Oh, you've only got a ranger run. I forgot about that. All right, Portugal, we're coming for you. I have no idea what victory tap I'm going to go for. I haven't really thought that through. Category 5 Hurricane. Oof. We'll go next turn, so we'll have max movement. A lot of his stuff on the coast is farms, though. It's not really that helpful. Barbarians are going to be big-time trouble down here. Turns on Petra. That's going to make that city amazing if we get it done. Um, I mean, I'm going to lie to you because why would I? Why would I tell you the truth? That's so silly. Yeah, I lied. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I lied. Honestly, we're so late that these surprise wars are probably going to come back and bite me in the rear end, but we've got we got to do the things that we got to do. 
I mean, coastal rating here is not that valuable. But it does mess with him, so I'm happy with it. I'd like to kill a unit with you if I can. So I think we're going to move over here. Take the kill first. Set of the promotion. Get the naval tradition boost. We will take your promotion though. Just one envoy. I mean, I can get a little bit of faith, I suppose. My goodness, there's heroes everywhere. We just don't have time to get one. That's another thing I've got to build. I'm sure I need to prioritize that, but... And I probably will here momentarily. Alright, that's six cities. They're not amazing, amazing cities, but they're they're gonna work. So I think I'm okay with all these. In democracy, it's your uh, we're still dealing with the Barbarians, so both of those make sense. We're not doing... Well, we are doing a Wonder for at least a couple more turns, so I think that makes sense. Honestly, all of these make sense for now. Just for a few more turns. We're going to swap off Castles. We can build as a trade route. That'd be cool. Are we war with any city states? None at all. Okay. Can we can do some pillaging up here. I have no idea what we're going to do with you. We might just do some more exploration at this point. All right, walls are done. We'll go back to the holy site for now. This mess down here is going to be problematic. We need some archers. We do need some archers. Oh, we have crossbowmen now. Two turns on Petra. Attack me, my friend. Attack me. Petra is a brilliant display of man's artistry in turning barren rock into majestic wonder. That's uh, gonna make that city amazing. I don't know what... I, I, maybe we're going to go for a science victory just because, you know, why not? We're just kind of pillaging to get some boosts here and there and then just kind of going with what we go with. I, I don't know. It's kind of a tough call. I'm going to go ahead and finish your monument first since it's already kind of partway done.
really just trying to be a nuisance. A good navy is not a provocation to war. It is the surest gallant. Hello, Braga. We did found a religion, so getting our stave churches going would be a good idea. Getting the boost already for that. Uh, one envoy, I guess we'll send it to Candy. Just being a nuisance. I guess I could have done the health with him, but just I was actually thinking in my brain to move him away. Get him held up a little bit. I don't know if there's much to pillage over here. I might go for this city, actually. I think we have a chance to get it. I don't know that we'll keep it. Like, we're not, I don't know if we're going to plan on keeping it for ourselves. We might just get rid of it. I don't have faith for more builders and things. Oh, you need a granary, my friend. You also desperately need some sort of housing. Probably the aqueduct I was talking about before, which I know this is a great tile for us, but it does open up a really good industrial zone right there. So I think we'll go with that. I mean, I could go for a conquest victory, but conquest victories are so easy. <laughs> like, it's like really is the easy mode. And we're playing on an easy difficulty right now, so it's like, uh, I don't know if that's the right move. Or exact iron making without chemistry. Holy side adjacency with our other bonus would give us more production, right? So we don't need that anymore. Let's just move that up to there. We'll grab that. Unless I unless I'm misunderstanding how that one works. I think everything else stays the same for now. I don't think there's anything we put anything in for it now. I need more. I just need something. We have some. Let's get a crossbowman down here. Start getting our berserkers here soon as well. Although, again, I don't know what we're going to do with our Berserkers. We'd have to conquer somebody to make them worth it. Cool if the longships could get the goody huts. Hey, there's our stave church. Which would give us presumably the production that we've been missing this entire time. I think we'll just go holy site there. We got religious victory, I suppose. We got a religion. 
unexpectedly. There's no way, right? Yeah, there's loyalties going to be too bad up here. There's no way we keep this. I mean, we could get Bro... Well, we couldn't get Brogger very fast because we only put one melee ship against it. I think we just pillage this to get rid of it. Raise the city. Set Portugal back a bit. We're, we're pillagers. We're not here to be nice. We're here to just cause turmoil. I mean, he doesn't really need this. I mean, I guess if we ever upgraded it, it'll need it, right? So, or is it, is it all ships or is it just the long ships that can heal? Um, no, it's all, all Navy, Navy melee units heal. Okay. So we really don't need the auxiliary stuff. I mean, I can go down Helmsman, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go with that. Well, hello there. My goodness, we got so many. We got to get us some heroes at this point. Uh, it's just there's so many of them. An architect should live as little in cities as a painter. Send him to our hills and let him study there what he... Might be pacing him out now because I don't think there's much else for us to get. I mean, he's repaired a few things like the farms and stuff, but it's not that much. Let's just piece him out, get as much as we can from him. Eh, a little bit of gold. Don't think it matters that much. We don't really need to go after him. Let's go find our next target, though. There are so many heroes. science intervene hello next target We can get our Berserkers available. All right. We'll take the point uh, with Johannesburg, I think. Oh, do you not have anything coastal that I can pillage? You're not being very nice. Right, got our stage and we are getting our production finally. I thought we were. It's just, it wasn't happening and I was very confused. I will right, we'll grab that. Do we want to grab anything like builders or anything right now? 
There's a few things I can build up. So let's grab a couple builders. Grab one there. We'll grab a builder there. I'll still grab a builder in all the cities that we can while we still have that ability. I mean, Aquaduct is tempting. Let's go Lighthouse, though. Oh no, I've been denounced. I mean, everybody's going to hate us. <laughs> we keep doing all this pillaging. Everybody's going to hate us. I mean, I could denounce him and get a little bit less anger. But that doesn't feel like a thing that our barbarian... That just doesn't feel very barbarian to us. We are barbarians. We're berserkers. We're, we're whatever. He has nothing. Signe. My goodness, there are so many heroes. I feel like the Berserkers, what should have happened is that on water, the Berserkers are Viking longships. Or some something equivalent to that. But on land, like they could actually land and become you know, berserkers. Like, I feel like that should be like their two sides. That would have been a cool feature because then at least I could land them and take some of these barbarian camps and things like that. But then when they're on water, they're not just normal transport ships. They're actual warships. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, I'll probably just go for gold now. Or send you to somebody that's got some bad production, such as you, and go for production. Never mind, Hungary is not our next target. He has literally nothing for me to pillage. Alright, I think we've done a lot of early pillaging that's gotten us... That was me being dumb. I... Well, not necessarily dumb. What did I... What killed me? Skirmisher. Okay, I was like, there's no way he has an archer down there that was able to kill my ship. I, that, that's not going to happen. Skirmisher. Okay, now that's... that's that was unexpected. I don't know. It's a 1-1-2 one, one, tile. Of course, if I get rid of it, it's a worthless tile, but it is production. 72 turns of production at what it currently is. I mean, a 1-1-2 one, one, is not bad. It's not great. But the city is getting big enough that it's going to work it eventually. Fine, we'll hook, up the, we'll hook it up for now. Yeah, I'm a little just... I mean, obviously, I'm very disappointed in that. That's That was not expecting a skirmisher right there, to be perfectly honest. They are already advanced enough for skirmishers. I mean, it's not a big deal. But, a bit annoying. I don't think we start coming back. I'm actually going to auto-explore for some of you guys. And then we're going to start bringing you guys back home, I think, soon. Goku. Don't think I'm going to be pillaging too many more people. I think we're getting past the stage where our longships are worth anything. I think it's time to just settle in and plan out our long game.
mean, I definitely want the industrial zone, so I'll pop that down. I mean, everybody's going to hate me because we were so aggro early. Gonna get us a berserker to go deal with stuff. You can go deal with the things down there, I guess. Hello, sir. I guess I could start trading with some of these guys now that we're not at war with everybody. Yeah, everybody's going to denounce us because everybody hates us. Which is fine. Need a couple of scouts back out to go get some of those goody huts. I'm going to assume one of these two towels is for our harbor, so we're going to buy that one. That's going to be the same for either one, so that works. I'm not going to make the mistake in the water this time. Uh, we weren't going to get four trade routes right away. I mean, I could swap off it for a bit. We'll eventually get four trade routes, probably. I mean, Portugal's never going to like us because we uh, got rid of his uh, city. We want to get rid of that. Let's get us another builder. Go chop that. Few inventions have been so sick. I'll take battle cry. Should be good for us. Oh. 
All right, start working on religion, I guess, a little bit more. Might as well. I, mean, I could wait. You know what? Let's wait. And the reason I'm going to wait is because we have this thing where we can buy things with uh, faith for a little bit longer. Is there a spot to put a city down there? There might be. Let's let's do that, but not out of you. Let's do it out of Stavanger. Because I want you to get to 10 pop. I figured there might be. Uh, let's send you out of Tromso. I mean, more land units would get us at least some boost. What do we got? We got three, four, one, two, three. We only got three. I'd like to get another scout of some sort. Probably a skirmisher, I guess, just to kind of go get some of those goodie huts that I mentioned. In fact, I might actually get a pair of those real quick. Right, whatever's going to give us good production, please. And some food is good. Everybody hates me. <laughs> They're going to hate me the entire game. It's all papers and forms. The entire civil service is like a... All right, we definitely with the barbarian thing. We're not going to be doing any more pillaging for a while. Uh, we might still need that one. I have to think about that. Could swap governments, but honestly, at this point, we might as well just wait for the next year government. We'll just take a little bit less gold. We're so weak. Wait, why is that plus three? Only got one resource. Oh, it's plus two from the J J city center. Oh, for some reason, I forgot that was a thing. Now, I guess I was thinking it was two city two resources that would give you one gold. I don't know why. My brain was going that route. Oh, I should have swapped off marks. Oh, our berserker's dead now. There's no way we're going to be able to face off against this. Well, never mind. I was wrong. That spearman might come out and beat us up, but... <laughs> A lot of good sh naval uh, civilizations in this game. Do we know everybody? We don't know everybody. I'm assuming... Is England in here? There's England's got to be here, right? I'm trying to think of who else it would be. Our suckers are so strong. Like, they just don't care if they're a little bit weak because they get that extra strength when they attack. It's just better to attack with them than let them be attacked. All right, you are going to go for the goody hut we saw there. You're going to go for the goody hut we saw there, and then we'll send you out from there. So that gives us five units. We need three more. Definitely want a couple cross moment, I think. Do a set of those, and I think that'll be that'll be good. So okay, we're gonna have to get some heroes very soon.
What on, boy? Well, I guess we'll send it to Mogadishu. Got a lot of faith. I don't think there's going to be another settler we're going to put down. Not all who Unless there's like a landmass that nobody has anything on, which this one technically would be. Long ways away from us, but it wouldn't have to worry about loyalty. Actually, up here would be fine, too. Again, would not have to worry about loyalty. Maybe we do keep doing some... Some, uh... Some things. We did get to 10 pop, so I don't mind bringing it out of there. I mean, we're going to... Well, I guess we can link you up with the, that guy. I'd like to put you over here somewhere. Probably... Probably here, honestly. Put you at the mouth of the river. But honestly, I think this is fine. Let's do that. One little sad, lonely city over there. Should not have loyalty issues ever. Technically, we could get us another one. Another settler. To come over here to this landmass. Uh, it'll need a little bit more protection. Because that's some dangerous stuff over there. Probably send it with the uh, crossbowmen we're about to have. We are Told you, England. I knew it. I knew it. Eng England was going to be here. Who's the last one? Um, Brazil. We're going to have Brazil because they have a ship, maybe, or Germany. They have a submarine. I'm trying to think of who else there would be. Wherever they are, they are doing all right diplomatically. Not so great. Actually, they're doing pretty good domination. Apparently. Well, for whatever that means, it doesn't really mean much. Oh, we can't go for science. Oh. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to wait for our crossbowman here. I mean, a harbor here is plus two. I'll just go commercial hub. I'm actually going to do builder. I know we can buy a builder. Well, let's just buy the builder. As long as we got it, we might as well use it. Um, let's just go granary for your housing. I mean, I guess it's not a bad idea to go ahead and just figure us out a, a hero we want to go for. I do like that one. Just generating some free science right now. Feels pretty good. Destroying districts doesn't feel super necessary with based on what we're doing right now. I mean, again, if we're not going to go for a science victory, then I guess we'll have to go for maybe a religion victory. Or diplomatic victory, apparently, which is kind of funny. We can be very aggro early on and then still go for a diplomatic victory. That actually would be funny. Uh, Himiko would give us some envoys for city-states. Uh, Maui gives us a uh, bonus in luxury resources. That's pretty good. Sinbad actually would give us gold if we're discovering things. All right, I think we're going to start with Anans. Oh, no, Anans has already been claimed. And I guess we're going to go for Maui, which would... Yeah. Which you would think Coupe would go for. 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Feels like it would make more sense. So Maui. So we'll send you here. be hard for us to get a diplomatic victory but i think we might push for it just because it's i think it's a little funny being a mercenary though hey we just go wherever i think we're okay with everything we got right now all right so you can go when located on unowned unowned empty plot it's a random bonus luxury. Okay, so it has to be unowned. So like right here, or here. Perfect. No, no, that's where that was going to be. I think we we're going to put a campus or something there at some point. Where were we? It's not because I guess it would have been from here. So now I guess that can't be an or over here maybe. That'd probably be okay. It's a pretty bad tile. And I guess you're going to make your way over to that to fill that in. Because we can only have one hero. Good to know. John. I don't know if I was expecting John Curtin. I mean, he's de definitely got coastal stuff, so I get that part of it, but yeah, I don't know if I was expecting him. I didn't think about the fact that it wasn't really going to make the tile that much better. I mean, it's, I'm glad it's a luxury resource because we will to be able to benefit from that, but yeah. He's got four total charges. Um, that means he can also do it on sea resources as well. That would have been a better move. Actually, I should, play, I should be making lots of sea resources if that's the case. Say land or not. This is unowned. <laughs> okay, yeah, we definitely should be in sea resources. Then we're going to do the next one right over there. Uh, Monarchy. We really want to go for Merchant Republic, I think. Uh, we should get our Berserkers back home. Or at least not Berserkers, our long ships, a couple of them at least. Can find any of them. There's a couple of them up there. There's a quadrium. There's a long ship. Mouse went off my screen for a second. All right, let's bring you guys back home. See if we can get a couple caravels. Um, Amani, 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 sure. There are very honest people who do not think that they have had a bargain unless they have cheated it. I think we're still okay with everything we got. Do we know about anymore? Goody huts. 
way up there. Um, I mean, I'd like to get you out of Bergen. It might make more sense out of Nidoros, but I think, I think we'll let Bergen take you. Just to give Bergen a little bit more of a boost. We still need to get a stave church here, though. Get that extra production from there, though. It's interesting we can't go for Science Victory, though. I had not... Glad I looked. And before I went too far down the rabbit hole. I mean, that makes Apadana and uh, Kilwa really valuable for us because those both give us um, envoys. And envoys will help us get us towards potential diplomatic victory. So let's go for the Apadana here. You are going to go ahead and just build there. You, Mr. Builder, are going to... Let's go there and Bergen can take that one as well. Not a great one, but it's at least going to give us a luxury resource. Right there. It'll be a little dangerous to get to. Let's just come to right maybe there. Figure it out. Another golden age. And again, we can keep purchasing settlers and builders with faith. I don't know that we need that. I think we're gonna go for the coinage. Start pushing the gold. Maybe we do go for religious victory. I don't know. It's a tough call. I guess we don't need scientists after all. Why are those tiles showing up wrong? It's got it all stacked up in the same column. That's kind of strange. Um, let's do Diplo points. I mean, it's a great tile, but three turns isn't bad. Two Diplo points would be good. I can put the other one here and we can put a harbor there. Or I can put it up there. We can put the harbor in the middle. Doesn't matter. Can I not use this? There's not an existing resource there. Okay, we'll try there. Maybe you can't use the last charge and get rid of them. I don't, that would seem strange to me. I don't know, we can't use it here. I don't know why we couldn't use it up there. Hmm. I saw a bank that said 24 hour bank. So you have no charges left. 
So now you're just kind of a whatever. Guess you can go explore. Got nothing else to do with you. Until you run out of time. Oh, we're going to get two caravels. How close are our things? They're coming. Lost our suzerain, unfortunately. Actually cost us a lot, because it's gonna cost us our diplo favor. With a little bit of diplo favor we can actually get. A bit dangerous, obviously. <laughs> I knew we'd get rid of the encampment. I didn't think about the fact that the unit inside it would pop out immediately. Um, I'd like to buy out and get this harbor set up. I guess you can go there instead. Become a galley. I have a gold. Oh, boo. Uh, can we trade for gold? First off, let's do some of that. Yeah, I'm okay with this, I think. I just want to get these upgraded. What can be labeled? Takes a while to get 360 here, but I guess we don't have to rush it, rush it. Delicate arch has any significance. There's some amazing tiles here. Um, market's done. Let's just go for the bank. My ancestor Darius made this apadana, but it was burnt down by the grace of Ahura Mazda. Anahita and Mithra, I reconstructed this Apadana. I don't know if I've ever built this one. Maybe at least once, but it's not a very common one for me to build. I don't know, I think we're just going to ride into the, uh, what was it? Kilwa? Yep, Kilwa. I mean, Jebel Barkal would take up a really good desert spot, though. Johannesburg on our side. Let's get Venice back. Let's get Johannesburg on our side.
Let me go with production. This guy also got a little bit of gold. Actually, Nasca wants to trade route. I was going to get production for the with this, but honestly, envoys is what we're really looking for. Nothing can range shoot me, so I think we can come down here, come through there, go around. I mean, just getting a free ironclad, I guess, is fine. I'm going to back you up and just get you healed up. Wow. Australia's got the most science. It's crazy. I did delay that a little bit, but I think it's all right. All right, we definitely want the unit minutes. I don't know if I care about the, the barbarian stuff. I'm going to get away from that a little bit. Actually, do I actually want retainers? We might circle back to that. First envoy and influence, I believe. Let me just grab the gold. Just push the gold up. I might start giving away my iron, though, come to think of it. Wait, what did we just lose? Oh, this one up here? Yeah, I guess he just wasn't getting enough healing from it. Alright, that's fine. Dusty, bustling corner of the Indian state of Bihar, there is a magical place that one might think of as the hub of Buddhism. I mean, we're gonna have plenty of faith. We could easily go for a religious victory. Listen, strange women lying in ponds, distributing. Said he does have a decent amount of faith. No, why not? So 
Like Rapa Nui wants a trade route. I think we'll go with that. Hmm. We have so much faith. Yeah, I think I think religious victory might be the play. Yeah, I think so. Which may mean we go for theocracy here in a bit. Oslo. I mean, this city doesn't have a lot of coastal tiles, to be honest, so I don't know if that's the right move. Oh, we can get us another another leader. Oh, each city can have their own. Oh, I bet that's how it works. I am understanding more now. I think we go for Himiko. What gunpowder did for war? Yeah, everybody can get one. Uh, what was the other one? Maybe Sinbad. Go clear out some barbarian camps. Get some gold. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that, but it's definitely good to know. Get Rapa Nui. Get Venice back. I think we're going to get Venice back. There's plenty of city-states to... Um... Did he just run out of turns? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Okay. That's interesting. I'm assuming we can get him back, though. Oh, did this just replace him? Can we only have one and they just got replaced? I wonder if what that's what it is. In that case, I'm actually going to temporarily move you off to something else for a moment. Just because I assume that's what that is. I don't know. We can get a builder, I think. Or can we get any of these? I mean, we don't really have lake tiles, so not really that great. We want Saint Michel for a little bit of faith. 
No, why not? Why not? Are you actually losing food? Okay, well, I guess you're gonna lose food. Doesn't look like there's much we can do about it. Oh, because we just took up one of your food spots. All right, Himiko can go get us a envoy. Got eight charges, so we can just come up here and just get envoys with Nazca. Go around to all of our city states that have that were Suzer enough, just get a little bit of protection. Actually, I have enough to start getting some Diplo points from like passing these. I mean, the next closest would be two hundred. So, do that maybe. Maybe we get both, or maybe I'm being greedy. Great rider. It is melee though. We, did, we got one of them. Of modern civilization, gunpowder, printing, and the Do we switch to theocracy so we get a little bit of extra faith and stuff? I think so. I'm gonna go this route instead. Not what I expected, but. Might actually be able to have a friend and an ally. Shocking. No. I'm surprised by that. Figured everybody would hate us forever. Plus four. Twenty five gold. Hmm, yes, please. I'm just tempted to get the mausoleum just because we can, but I don't know if that's really what I want. Actually, no, we need a builder. Um, so that we can just hook up mines up here. You need to get a builder just to finish hooking up all the stuff around you. Where's this at? Yeah, way over there. All right, you're going to go ahead and get us, I guess, some faith. And then I guess go to Venice. Let's keep getting a little bit of protection with some of these city-states. 
Uh, we just lost it with Johannesburg. Remember, we actually have some niter down here at one of our cities, don't we? We do. I haven't set it up yet. So we'll need to get you a builder as well here in a bit. Hmm. Do we want more apostles? Do we just go for the religion thing? I'm try I, I just keep going back and forth between religion and, and, and uh, diplomacy, to be honest. I mean, at this point, let's go for religion, I suppose. Oh, we can get Maui back. All right, here's the ri risk is that I don't know if it's going to get rid of what's her name. Well, how, how many heroes can we have? Do we have a way to see that? Heroes. Oh no, we can get more than one. Okay, so we can get him back. Okay, I think I just misunderstood how it was going to work. Um, I mean, we're just going to keep putting out resources. We're going to put one over here. Probably put a couple over there. Man is a military animal. So the Nazca line does get rid of all the stuff inside it. So I don't know if that's really what we want to put there. Try to see if I can sneak you in there and get that goodie hut. It might not work out. I'm just going to get walls because it's going to bug me that you don't have them. Go away, Swordman. You did go away. Is one of the most beautifully built cities in the world. The houses there are entirely made of wood, their rooftops out of rope grass, and it rains with great vigor. What's going on, boys, when it's built? When you are the suzerain of a city state, this city receives a plus 50 percent boost to the type bonuses provided by that city state. Must be built on a flat tile just to the coast. Perfect. All right. Let's go. Let's go shipyard. Let's go. Keep pushing the walls for now. I got distracted. I was going to build some uh, apostles, wasn't I? I don't really need the campuses. I think this theater square would probably be a mildly okay choice. Let's get a little more culture coming in. Five envoys. We get Auckland on our side, which actually wouldn't be bad. Shallow water tiles getting stuff. And then we get Johannesburg. I still have the thing where I can get doubles if I send them to other people, though. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to send them to anybody that didn't have one so we get just a whole bunch of free envoys real quick. And then we can circle back around to other things later. Looks like we can still get Johannesburg back. Got a bunch of envoys now. And then we'll start working on suzerains here in a bit. I haven't decided which victory we're actually going to go for. <laughs> Both are very valid. I mean, you're pretty tough, right? 
Would you be able to survive all of this? I don't know if you would. <sighs> don't think you will. Maybe if we fortify, I just don't know that you will. I'm not, not with the other guy coming in. I didn't know if we could. At 30 strength, you would think that we'd be at least survived two hits, but I guess not. It's all right. completely surround this harbor with stuff <laughs> i guess that works it's gonna give us a lot of gold i hit man okay that guy's really strong i'm really liking him a lot oh forbidden city is pretty good i just get a builder and we'll chop that Why is this not available? Well, maybe she has to be actually adjacent. I didn't think about that. I thought she just had to be in the in the the area. I guess here. There we go. I have so much faith. Okay, okay. We gotta go the faith route. We've gotta work on this. The army of apostles. Some some reason I feel like there should be twelve of them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's making me think that. I'm not as fun as I think I am, guys. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, okay, I was gonna clear this. I think. All right, apostles, let's go. I can find you a natural wonder. I guess you have to come over here, my friend. Oh, of course. I guess I should check before I do that. I mean, I'm tempted just to build a mausoleum just to build it, but I don't think it's that valuable to us. I'm a spy. So you got the eliminate spread, which is perfect. You got the extra combat. That is perfect as well. Need at least one of those.
not suzerain with Hong Kong. We could just go up there. We won't get the faith, but we would get a, we would become suzerain, which would be nice. I'm going to go for the Diplo and the Religion Victory at the same time, and whichever one we get first at this point. Guess we should get us another round of Apostles. I don't know how many we have. <laughs> I kind of wanted exactly 12. <laughs> I'm just being silly about it. But I did. All right, you're going to come into there, I guess. None of these are good, unfortunately. All right, let's just group everybody grouped up. Figure out what we got. Tiles come really good with these the, the churches. That's awesome. I guess a couple um gurus wouldn't be bad either to go and mix with our guys. It is a lot of cities to convert, though, from a religion standpoint. So it would take us a good chunk of time. Oh, come on. Don't get stuck on me. No, it's just that. Uh, 
no. I'm going to say no. I don't really want to participate in that. Put you in some city states, start converting some of those over. Uh, probably ones that have a lot of stuff like Mogadishu. I think we've only got 10. Not that it really matters, I'm just you know, being a little silly because I'm having fun with this a little bit. That's eight, that's nine, that's ten. So we need two more! Alright, two of them are gurus. Well, we'll count it. <laughs> just because it's going to be smart to have a couple of those running with us. Alright, so we got ten total. One, Only one that's good at combat right now. But that's all right. We'll make it work. All right. So anybody that's just got spread can go for Palambong because no way it's not going to be that bad. The bigger cities we're going to want the one where we eliminate. Yeah, you. You can go to turn eight. Uh, combat dude, you're going to be kind of in the middle. You are just spread, so you're going to go here as well. You're spread two extra times, so let's come over here. You're spread two extra times, you're going to come over here. Settle under nest. Oh, you don't have any charges left. Okay, I see how it goes. I wonder how you died before. Maybe somebody just killed you. Maybe you just got bopped. Which I'm actually okay with the idea of... I'm going to go explore some more. All right, you're just going to kind of be ready to swoop in and help out. Same for you. I just realized, is the Stave Church unimproved? Or improved? Let's take plus one to each. Why did that one just go down? It was at two. Now it's at one. I'm very confused. Yeah, I don't know. But I saw that before happen before as well. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, you need to go to Matarim. You need to go to... Probably follow up for turn eight. Oh no, we have a missionary. Attack! Your triple strength, so you're actually going to be a follow-up for Maja Pahit, I think. Population never got big enough to build us your other district.
Actually, I guess we can take you off of um, production focused. Right, here's two extra times. Just come over here, I guess. O oh, ye who tread the narrow way by Tophet flare to judgment day. Be gentle when the heathen pray to Buddha at Kamakura. Warrior monks can be pretty strong. We're just going to spread them out to cover places we don't have uh, defenses right now. Little diplomatic quarter. We'll do one more here just to get you secured. A little bit of faith as well. And then we'll move you on to the next one. In a market economy, however. Triangular trade's pretty solid. Probably better than the production in all cities at this point. Uh, we don't need the first thing anymore. We can grab the, just the pure influence. We can also just grab the gold, which is pretty solid. I think we're fine. We just want to keep getting envoys everywhere we can. All right, Himiko, just come up here and just get us another point with Vatican City, I suppose. All right, you were going to chase down that... I mean, the missionary can't do anything to us, but you were going to chase him down, but I guess it doesn't matter now. So just come up here. You can be part of the group. More than likely, we'll lose the spy, but, you know, you never know. We might be able to get something going. All right, you are a just religious combat, so you're just going to pop you. You are a uh, eliminate, so. Here we'll just keep pushing up this way. You're just a normal spread person. All right, you already did your eliminate, so you're going to come over here to this city. Alright, so you already spread. We've already converted, so you're going to move up to this city. You're just still attacking things. Go and get on land. Warrior Monk, just chill. Uh, builder, I guess, hook that up.
Oh no! War! What will I do? Church and state, soul and body, God and man. I mean, to cancel that. That's all right. Um, I don't think I'm really that worried about you, like at all. Guess I should build up a few naval units just to make sure. I'm gonna build up some privateers and things just just to kind of make sure that we're good. Oh, did we never? Oh, we never finished anybody because I didn't know if we could have more than one. That's right. But I think now we know. So we'll grab Sinbad. Is Rapa Nui our enemy? No, they're just not our suzerain of. We're not Susans with them. I don't look like we have any enemies. Oh, we got Auckland. Sorry, I see them at the top now. We're going to take over all her stuff pretty easily. All right, you're our eliminator, so you need to move on to the next nation. Although you actually kind of just need to chill for a bit. I'm going to put you out here in the water. Just, just kind of chill out there until we get the rest of the guys ready. You got too many guys run up here. <laughs> Um, somebody to come here. Guess you're going to chill out here in the water, too. We're going to probably go after Portugal next. Like, seriously, dude, why are you, why are you being aggro? I'm going to be back here and you can let the guru just heal you up a little bit. I know you're the only one that's got damage, but you're also my only offensive dude right now. Get this Venice. All right, we got two envoys. We get Chinguetti. I mean, at this point, we're just kind of getting suzerains covered, I think. Let's get Rapa Nui because it's close to us. We'll go ahead and get Chinguetti, I think, just because we can. We're getting 14 per turn right now. I think we can definitely push towards a diplomatic victory, and I also think we can push towards a religious victory. 
I think we can get both. We don't have to get all her cities, by the way. <laughs> I know that. But we're kind of in the group right now, so it's like, why not? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. That's actually going to be the end of the, the stream. I mean, this is a, kind of a fun scenario. I mean, it's not that hard, obviously. We're, too, we're used to deity, and this is not even close. Uh, two levels below deity, so it's not going to be that hard. But it's still going to be kind of fun. We'll, we'll play around with it. I'll probably finish the Religious Victory. We'll definitely do this more of this next time. Let's see, next time would be... Yeah, we still got time. Because I think this goes until January 12th or something like that. Maybe January 7th, something of that nature. But we should have time to do this. Finishes up next time, and that'll be good. But, uh, I don't know, I had fun. It's still kind of cool. Just do something different. I probably, I might still do a Herald right after. I'm not sure. The hero thing is different than I expected. I did not know how that was going to work. So now that I understand how it's going to work, I think I could plan that a little bit better as well. So we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. And uh, my next stream will be on Monday, which is, I know, Christmas Day. Uh, will I stream Monday? Yeah, I think I will, because we're doing Christmas stuff in the morning. I have nothing to do that night. So my kids will be off playing with their toys that night. So I will probably do, yeah, I'll probably still go ahead and stream Monday night. And, uh, cause why not? And then we will, um, stream Wednesday. So Monday night will be football manager. Wednesday will be, um, farming simulator. And we'll back to this on Saturday. So I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you. And goodbye.